Hello and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So, what will I be showing you today? So, I got this new gadget from a friend. It's the Flip Zero. Many of you probably know that. So, what can this thing do? So, it has a, bu a bunch of functions like sub gigahertz, RFID, NFC, infrared. GPIO, which you can plug your Wi-Fi board, which I also got, right on the top, and then you can crack some Wi-Fi's. I will be showing you that too in this in this video. Then you get the I button. I don't know what this does. I got the bad USB, which like holds your computer. And then I got UQF, which you need to com connect it to the computer too. And there yeah, you get the clock and settings and apps. So we're going to start with sub gigahertz. So this is basically that you can read when like a infrared signal or a, a signal is sent like with a car key or a remote control with a remote. So basically I got this remote right now. So like with the remote or with the car key, you could scan this, then it's going to pop up and then you could clone it. So uh, here I have some some saved. So here you could open a car lock, like an old car. Uh, here I have like some other things I did on myself for like cloning car keys and stuff. Obviously, only do that on the things you really own, or like the car you own. So here I got the Tesla charge door opener. So what is this? If I run this and then like hold it next to the Tesla. It's just going to open this little charge door. I'm going to cut in a video right now. And yeah, here you can like add manually like the frequencies. Then here you can analyze the frequency. So, okay, I don't know, it basically found something right now. It's kind of interesting. So if you like hold the car key right here, you can find out the frequency. And then you can configure it when you read it. Like here you can configure the frequency. You, you, you can configure the frequency if it's like, if it says like 400, then you can go down and then scan it on the 400 um, megahertz uh, frequency. So you can find the car key better. So that was the sub gigahertz. Then sub gigahertz remote, I have nothing. Then RFID, uh, I think many of you know what RFID is. is. It's like an access key where you can hold it onto a, 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 um, a door and then it opens. So you could basically do this, clone this with this too. But I don't have, have any RFID, so it's not going to work. Say so if they have also nothing, but I did try it once with a hotel key and it actually worked. So NFC is really interesting. So here you can read NFC cards. I have an NFC card, so I'm going to show it to you in a second. After a long search, I just found my Oster card for London transport. So now you could basically tap it on the card and it does a little beep and then it reads the card. Now you could go and save or emulate, emulate or info. It's just just tells you a lot of info but if you do emulate and you would hold it onto the bad re badge reader at the underground you would just basically get uh, you could just basically like it would be identical to this card and if you have a so if you save it and you have like a MT NFC card you could go on this and then emulate and hold it onto that and then you would scan it. So that's really cool. So infrared, you can turn on TVs, which I will be showing you right now. You can turn it on, off and on the projectors. I tried this and it actually works. So AC is not a popular thing where I live. So learn new remotes, you would just 
you would just get your like remote for like LED lights and then you could go on off and it detects it and then you can save it and use it wait just a second so yeah i got this Opala. so i got this led light thingy so if i like i have some saved so let me just delete that i have saved like i can turn it Um, on that's on off and this would be color switch so on off on yeah that's basically it i think that's a really cool feature i just yeah i have some other remotes for like my tv saved so GPIO is for the Wi-Fi antenna. So GPIO is basically enables these ports right at, at the top here. This this enables this. So if I plug in the Wi-Fi board, this is the Wi-Fi board. It's like thirty bucks. So I connect it, and then I choose GPIO. I choose Wi-Fi Marauder because that's what this is for. Then I can do scan AP. This is just, I need to cover it, I think. I think it's fine. I am covering it so I don't leak any personal data. I can show you a little bit. So this just basically scans a bunch of data of my networks. Then we have a um, list AP, I think I can do that. So Go E is my network and Arana, but it's really sick, it's really sick of my neighbors. So this basically just told me what networks there are. So now I could select one of this. So it has like these little numbers. So I'm just going to select my own network here. One is Arana. We just want to go on. Now my network is selected. Now I could do attack, which would basically just D off all the net the phones or my computers of the Wi-Fi and then would they just reconnect after a couple of seconds? Then we got the evil portal. So I didn't uh, configure that yet, but I can do that in another video if you want to. So I could do the sniff. Which like, so if I'm like, want to get a Wi-Fi password, I basically click attack. It de offs and I go down really fast. And I cut to this, and then it basically just scans all this for the passwords. And then if you load it into the computer, it's basically going to give you the password. I will make a guide on that too. Yeah, I can show you this. Um, yeah, this here doesn't really matter, but uh, yeah, you can basically hack Wi Fi and all that stuff. You could use a bunch of other tools here, like this, but you obviously just need to plug them in right here. Now you only have this Wi Fi module, then you have Bluetooth, which is the Bluetooth spam, like same from the um, from the M5 stack. So if you press this, it's just going to send a bunch of some AirPods or some some devices to your to your phone, and it's going to pop up. I can show you this really quick. Just yeah, that's just very annoying. Okay, next we have some little games like I don't know, Bumper Duck. I don't know. Yeah, just some game, but that's like not really fun. But you want to play that then go ahead uh, infrared i already showed you like the infrared oh. the infrared you can like scan but since there isn't any infrared right here it's not going to work then this um you already saw that 
media you could like play the metronome yeah i think it's a fun feature that it has like speakers but yeah not so useful so nfc i already showed you yes so you could like check for more things if you want to know anything specific just ask me to make a video about it and do it so RFID. Oh, this is really interesting. So if you like have a door gate or something, you just click on the RFID fuzzer and then just hold it onto the door gate. And it's going to try a bunch of different codes and eventually one of them will work. And yeah, you can just enter some a house or something like that if you want to do that. But yeah. Yeah, you saw that. So here you can analyze the spectrum that's like like real time data when i would hit like a car key right now it would like spike this is a brute force for like if you have like um, a gate which you want to open like park gate you could like use this for infrared signals and it spams like a bunch but I don't have any door gates here, so it's not going to work. And then we have the tools. Like, we have here the bad USB. Which you can plug into a computer. And it's going to, like, do a bunch of bad stuff. But I don't want to do that because uh, my P PC... I don't want to lose my PC computer. So, iPad. I will show you right now how it looks on my iPad. So I can basically control like the mouse. Hope you see it. And then I could go like on a random app like in uh, notes and write something. You could do a bunch of bad stuff like reset your password or whatever. Or oh, here I could like do a random do a bunch of things. Bad things. Or I could like do the mouse jiggler, which is just going to do a bunch of random stuff with your mouse, as you can maybe see right now. I don't know if you can see it. You could like go on that and uh, change the apps. You can do a bunch of bad stuff with the keyboard. Like, if you have to control to someone, you could do like Alt F4, it would just close all their apps. Or if you have someone on an iPad, you could go CMD tab. Is it working? C CMD tab. And like, you could switch like the apps, which is kind of funny. So yeah, you could really abuse this or type something in a Safari or download a file. So yeah, that's basically what the keyboard does. Yeah, and, uh, maybe I even motivated to buy one. And if I do, if I did, then please comment and uh, comment if you want another review on this or how to set it up or anything like that. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.